立法會主席。President. Morning, members. Um, the meeting resumes. Adhering to the need to put Hong Kong people first in formulating policies, members who wish to speak. Uh, we please press the request to speak button. I now call upon Mr. Gary Fan to speak and move the motion. Mr. Fan. President. I move that the motion as printed on the agenda be passed. President, this is the second time in this um, term that I move um, the motion to put Hong Kong people first. Last time around, when I first um, put forward this motion, I was um, treated with contempt. Uh, and they said that um, this is um, an expression of um, hostility, a hatred. Um, and the uh, other members uh, said this is a fascist um, motion. A year on, the government uh, failed to uh, implement policies to resolve the conflict between the mainland and Hong Kong. Given um, the um, emergence of uh, nativism the, and also the, the blind uh, pursuit of uh, integration between the two places uh, by the government, I would like to move um, a second time um, this uh, put Hong Kong people first motion, and I'd like to include uh, more elements uh, in relation to public policies, and members should not um, negate the importance of uh, nativism and regard this um, as a radical um, Hong Kong independence uh, move, and this uh, will not um, do anything to resolve the um, poverty problem. President, a lot of um, commentators, Mr. Li Yi, uh, Joseph Len, Mark Wong-Ming, and um, Herbert Kong, they have started um, analyzing the rising uh, nativism in Hong Kong, and they've urged um, the government to address all these um, aspirations. Over the past years, um, this has very much become a trend, and this is um, the fact that uh, nobody can deny it. The CUHK and HKU conduct um, surveys or tracking opinion polls uh, on um, the identity, uh, sense of identity. According to CUHK, um, for those who regard uh, Hong Kong people, um, they uh, put uh, they uh, regard themselves as Hong Kong people, and the rate is 68 percent, and the highest since 1996. On the contrary, for those who regard themselves as Chinese, uh, since 1997, it was 32.1%. It's dropped to eight, dropped to the lowest point since uh, for 18 years uh, at 8.9%. HKU uh, published um, the findings uh, which show similar results. Um, the sense of identity, um, they uh, regard themselves as Hong Kong people. Um, the lowest uh, ranking uh, would be. Um, Chinese people and people of the PRC. The uh, local awareness is, um, has become the uh, mainstream uh, consciousness. The pro-establishment uh, members and the Hong Kong SL government uh, would uh, instinctively distort this um, to mean that Hong Kong people don't have a sense of belonging and they um, they are really biting the hands, uh, the, uh, the hands that feed them, and there should be more uh, national education. Uh, Dr. Priscilla Leonka said that those taking part in this umbrella movement are unpatriotic. Liberal studies, and um, they uh, she urged liberal studies uh, to be fixed by uh, the Education Bureau. In order to win hearts and minds, the government forced um, the people of Hong Kong in economically. Uh, culturally, um, to integrate with uh, the mainland uh, blindly. The one-way uh, permit, uh, the individual uh, visit scheme, and the um, Pu uh, education are cases in point, and the, the mainland media are talking about a new Hong Kong people.
President. We have a lot of um, mainlanders are coming to Hong Kong on one-way permit, and then the new Hong Kong people, um, the um, new Democrats, uh, respect um, this um, unification, this uh, family union uh, right. But this one-way permit is fraught with uh, loopholes. Yesterday, there are reports that the Immigration Department cracked or detected a uh, syndicate uh, to deal with um, the, the bogus marriages. For two years, uh, it has arranged uh, 80 uh, cases of bogus marriages um, for um, mainlanders uh, of dubious background to come to Hong Kong to settle. President, the SAO government has never um, exercised any uh, approval right uh, on the one-way permit. It is uh, really working along with um, the uh, mainland um, to um, effect a settlement um, in Hong Kong uh, by mainlanders, uh, as in the case of uh, Xinjiang and Tibet. And these uh, people uh, are different from Hong Kong culturally, and they may not necessarily support um, the core values in Hong Kong. So it is uh, through the revision of the one-way permit for the Hong Kong government to exercise that approval right that we can um, prevent any backdoor arrangement, that we can uh, prevent any bogus marriages, any um, um, a granting of one-way permits in the name of uh, family reunion. And uh, this will be de to the detriment of the genuine cases. President, I put forward this, uh, put Hong Kong people first idea. Um, I hope that um, the um, residential requirement for the CSSA should be amended. Now, this is not really targeting at um, the origin of uh, the people. To implement a population policy and immigration policy that it's in keeping with in Hong Kong, uh, keeping with Hong Kong situation, we will pre prevent hatred. In November, the European Court um, ruled that uh, European countries can enact legislation to um, mandate that um, the, um, there will be equal rights um, for the residents. And uh, Prime Minister Cameron um, made comments on this. In the US, um, they have uh, suggested that uh, amnesty be granted to some of the immigrants on the condition that they would not be entitled to um, the uh, medical insurance and other benefits. It shows that uh, giving priority to the locals and permanent residents would be the uh, fundamental responsibility of any government. Mr. Vincent Fang of the Liberal Party said a question a year ago as to why the U.S. Uh, congressman uh, will be putting forward uh, a motion like putting American people first. The Obama uh, amnesty is uh, in response to Mr. Vincent Fang. And this is um, um, the basic knowledge um, that requires no debate. President, putting Hong Kong people first is not predicated on the origin um, of the people or the race. We are upholding our core values. After the World War, European countries uh, were against uh, all this fascism, and the European countries uh, formed union, and the um, states are uh, pursuing peace, uh, democracy, and the pursuit of um, democracy and human rights. I support uh, putting Hong Kong people first, and I believe that uh, this is uh, far beyond the parochial um, racism. And we are upholding the core values in Hong Kong. We should be supporting and building up our uh, civic awareness. We're not seeking uh, division, a racial division or national division. Uh, for those who depict this as um, promoting Hong Kong independence, uh, it doesn't have any leg um, to stand on. President, uh, the government can never address um, the rising um, the local awareness. Uh, since uh, Siwai Lung took office, uh, he tried to um, skew the policy towards uh, the mainland. This is contributing to the conflict between Hong Kong and the mainland. According to the budget, uh, tourism, uh, as a percentage of the GDP lags behind other pillar industries. The IVS is um, causing a great deal of impact um, disproportionately. The uh, government uh, ignore any uh, plea for the um, abolition of um, the uh, multi-visa uh, entry scheme. The Education Bureau is uh, promoting um, 
the teaching of um, Chinese in Putonghua, and there are a number of uh, measures that are intended to integrate um, the two places, like the uh, XRL um, and so on. This is a real waste of uh, public uh, money, and this is uh, causing uh, economic uh, reliance on the mainland. The supply of uh, water to Hong Kong, the Dongjiang water, is uh, really wasting a lot of uh, taxpayers' money. All these are really skewing um, towards uh, the mainland instead of uh, putting Hong Kong's well-being uh, first. And this is contributing to the contradiction, conflict between the two places. Si Wai Leung has um, committed uh, blunder after blunder. The distribution of uh, public resources are, is also causing uh, conflict between the two places. Hong Kong students have to compete um, primary and kindergarten places uh, with the mainland, uh, mainlanders. Uh, in 2013, 80% of um, the, the uh, non-local students come from the mainland. The mainland media are encouraging uh, mainlanders to uh, come and enjoy our uh, football pitches and swimming pools. What has the government done? The government is not or doesn't have any uh, comprehensive policy to make sure that uh, local students don't have um, to attend um, the, um, the schools in the course boundary way and a lot of um, multi-entry uh, uh, visitors and the IVS um, visitors are causing a lot of uh, undesirable impact in Hong Kong. And of obviously, um, the many young people are really raising hue and cry. Uh, they're crying foul, and these umbrella movement participants um, are expressing um, their dissatisfaction um, with um, the situation. And the... Um, integration with the mainland is uh, losing the support of um, the young people. President, this is not um, being manifested in the IVS scheme and the Putonghua um, medium education. It, also, it is also manifested in the um, electoral system. It, the Taiwanese election has um, shown, has given us some uh, inspiration. The Kuomintang uh, is um, trying to uh, get integrated with uh, the mainland, and this is, has caused a, a backlash. This year, um, young people uh, led the sunflower movement, and the result of the sunflower movement is fully manifested in this election. The Kuomintang uh, was penalized uh, by the voters, and they uh, suffered um, a landslide um, defeat. Taiwan experienced um, colonial rule, and the uh, it is a cultural, culturally diverse place, and it does have um, their, their own core values in Taiwan. And they don't really want to uh, get integrated with um, the mainland, which, has, um, which is culturally different. Hong Kong is, um, has been evolving uh, from the uh, mainland culture uh, through to um, the colonial rule, um, the capitalist um, uh, institution, the um, Cantonese um, native language. We have been uh, developing separately from the mainland. We have built up our own sense of identity. All this cannot be obliterated in one fell swoop. President, I must emphasize that the local awareness is not a really emotional expression of um, um, disowning our, our root. We are merely planting our roots in Hong Kong. We are aspiring to build um, an idealistic society in Hong Kong, and this is very much um, the spirit underlying um, the younger generation. The sense of identity is all about upholding the core values, uh, civic liberties, democracy, rule of law, and so on. The Hong Kong government simply cannot emphasize that Hong Kong is part of China and erode um, this or chip away at these uh, core values they have been building up over the years and were made to uh, swallow um, this uh, communist uh, way of life. President, we have been upholding uh, civic liberties and uh, we never blindly reject um, the mainland culture. We have um, the Kung Fu movies, the martial arts uh, novels, and the uh, canal roll flyover, the beat villain um, rituals. All these uh, have been evolving. They, they carry a lot of co local characteristics. We have Chongqing Mansion, Soho in Central, and Bangkok Curry Lunch. These are part of the local cultures. We achieve success because uh, we, uh, 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 we have an international outlook. We are not merely relying on the mainland of China.
through executive powers. In the name of uh, economic integration, the government is um, trying to integrate Hong Kong with the mainland. The idea is to chip away at the uh, idea of one country, two systems, and Hong Kong will end up become, becoming um, a second-line mainland cities, and all the democratic future will be thrown away. The democracy in Taiwan is um, telling us that um, we are not uh, waiting for democracy to be, to be bestowed on us. We have to fight for it. So we have to respect um, the right of the Hong Kong people to choose their own way of life. And that way, we will be able to achieve uh, genuine democracy. Over the past two uh, months, um, the umbrella movement is telling us that um, the Hong Kong, as we know it, is fast um, deteriorating, um, and the uh, police have become a tool. Uh, the Xi Wailong chief executive um, had the courage to, to visit the mainland. He doesn't have the courage to come and face uh, the members of the public. I put forward this motion. Thank you, President. I now propose a question to you, and that is that the motion moved by Ms. Gary Fan be passed. Four members will move amendments to this motion. This council will now proceed to a joint debate on the motion and the four amendments. I will first call upon... Ms. Claudia Mo to speak to be followed by Dr. Helena Wong, Mr. Christopher Chung, and Mr. Tang Kapi, respectively, but they may not move amendment at this stage. Ms. Claudia Mo. Mr. President, we say that the conflict between Hong Kong and China uh, is deepening. The biggest conflict is that we are fighting for genuine universal suffrage. So don't tell us that one person, one vote means universal suffrage, because there is a screening mechanism. After this, the screening, only those uh, who are lackeys uh, of the um, CPG government, who are um, guard dogs of Beijing, um, could become candidates for Hong Kong people to choose. This is not an insult um, about the use of dogs to describe them. Uh, it's actually a term used by the CBG government. Well, um, there is a uh, folk song um, on the mainland um, as uh, which described a journalist uh, in China, and that is the uh, a dog of the uh, party and the uh, department of journalism in, in hong kong you has its uh, own um newsletter and it says that from um second and to Zhang xiaoming of the days on office and at that time there were only 8.9 uh, articles on average mentioning Mr. Gong uh, Chu in Wen Wei Pao. However, for Mr. Zhang Xiaoming, on average, e each month um, the figure was 42.6. And in the same article, about top Chinese officials commenting on Hong Kong affairs, the number of articles on average. Um, was also mentioned, and top government officials also included uh, the commentaries uh, made by um, those um, officials in charge of the Hong Kong affairs since 2003. In 1998, um, there were three occasions throughout the year. In 2003, there were eight. Now, by 2014, and we are Still, in 2014, um, there were 14 occasions, four times more. So you, you can see the attitude of Beijing towards Hong Kong. They are tightening up the rule, and they are discriminately um, issuing orders. And this Hong Kong administration is just a dog to the Beijing government. And we cooperate fully. I just want to remind the CY Long administration that the more you exert oppression, the more people will retaliate. Just look at the degree of politi political um, 
awareness of、uh, our young generation, in particular, about Hong Kong people' identity. We know how different we are from Chinese mainland Chinese people. It's not we're not discriminating them. Uh, but this identity ex has existed since 1847, and it's a sense of recognizing our identities.、Um, on the 22nd of September, tertiary students first announced a class boycott, and in CU Hong Kong, they、uh, put up a vertical banner. Saying that they're anti-screening and also anti-colonialism because、um, the Beijing government's attitude is that if our young people are not happy with the situation in Hong Kong, they should emigrate, they should、uh, work and study abroad because we have a one-way permit. Quota of 150 per day. We can import immigrants from the mainland. Of course, there are cases of genuine family reunion, but we are all we all know、uh, what is going on.、Uh, Mr. President, you are also very familiar with the subject. You know that、um, we are allowing different people to、uh, come to Hong Kong.、Um, those、uh, involving with national security, those with、uh, all sorts of connections. The identity of Hong Kong people, and in fact, the term Hong Konger, has、um, been made an, a new entry、uh, to the Oxford Dictionary, and very soon, I think,、uh, um, other coin terms such as、uh, "add oil" will also be added to the Oxford Dictionary. This clearly shows、um, the situation of our new generation. In Hong Kong, the C Y L administration has continued to、uh, deepen integration between Hong Kong and China. Apart from brainwashing, apart from working on the、um, ideology aspect、uh, to eliminate local culture, the、um, strongest tactic is. Uh, to uh, is uh, economic uh, means,、um, a mainland、um, intellectual called Wu Guo Guang uh, Guang uh, call、uh, said that mainland people um, um, are living without dignity. Uh, as long as they say stay hungry, they、um, do not have the basic、uh, human dignity because all they care about is、uh, having their stomachs filled and to have a roof、uh, over their head. Now,、uh, my two major amendments to Mr. Gary Fan's motion is、um, are, are, are as follows. First of all, Mr. Wong Kam Sing. Uh, f at first, said、uh, that there would be a local consultation first, but then he just followed、um, the orders of this administration and would、um, purchase、uh, electricity from the mainland. We're already importing Dongjiang water from the mainland, and、uh, day after day, the、uh, loyalists criticized us、uh, for promoting. Um, the idea of putting Hong Kong people first and nativism, and we are、uh, in fact promoting independence. But this is not the case. The administration should have this resolve to、um, explore the idea of desalination. And the government.、Um, Said that the plan won't be implemented until 2037, and now、um, the same applies to electricity.、Um, as we all know, for the、um, for the、uh, mainland、um, power plants,、uh, they use、uh, coal.
uh, to generate electricity. So we're not doing justice to the um, mainland residents living over there, as uh, there would be all air pollution, and according to the CLP figures, every year. Um, each customer experienced about two minutes uh, of um, electricity st stoppage, but for the um, for the Southern China Power um, plants, it's uh, two hours on average. Um, so uh, this is like the administration saying that one person one vote equals universal suffrage. This is why we're in such a situation. Should we believe them? The same applies to auctioning the 3G telecommunication spectrum. Well, the CG, uh, 3G um, service providers uh, are giving up one third um, for auction, but um, but now um, you're trying to. Introduce um, China Mobile into our market. Um, in fact, we and even the IT professionals ask whether if you use um, China Mobile, you may your uh, communications may be intercepted. So we should um, stop mainlandization. Your time is up, Ms. Mo. Ms. Helena Wong. Mr. President. The Democratic Party DP object to any forms of discrimination. Hong Kong has always been uh, a place where the Chinese uh, mixes with uh, the West, where the East meets the West, especially back in the 1960s. And this has formed a very sound basis for Hong Kong's um, economic development. And because of the proximi proximity with uh, south of China, we have a lot of um, manpower and capital coming from, from them. And this is uh, undeniable. And at various stages, a lot of mainlanders migrated to Hong Kong through their hard working efforts. They integrated with Hong Kong society. So if there are any um, policies that would uh, alienate new arrivals, we have to be very careful because in a way, we are discriminating against our ancestors because at one point, for uh, one reason or another, they came to Hong Kong from China. But now, what we see in Hong Kong society is something that we cannot turn the other cheek. After the reunification, the uh, rift between Hong Kong and um, mainland China has been getting wider and wider. It's now a gulf. And sometimes these uh, conflicts target um, new arrivals. Why does it happen? It is indeed a uh, food for thought for for us legislators. There are many factors, say for example, um, uh, errors in the implementation of policies and other reasons when Hong Kong people are pushed to a point that they reacted uh, irrationally. Previously, there was a case, um, there was a new arrival who apply for CSSA, and that was public outcry. But for new arrival families, especially uh, women, they have not been in Hong Kong for seven years, but they take care of their children, they take care of their sometimes elderly uh, husband, and they play a very important role in society. And if the only uh, recipient of CSSA in a household is a child, then you can imagine how tough it is 
for the mother because the mother will have to live on the、uh, CSSA of the child. And we've heard、uh, grievances from new arrival、uh, households because they have to live on the child's benefits. And、uh, later there was、uh, a CFA case in this regard. We've assisted some. Well,、uh, there are people who assisted、uh, CSSA households、uh, of new arrivals. They were severely attacked. This has become irrational because we don't want to see new arrivals coming to live on us like parasites. That they are lazy. Such stigmatization is wrong. However, there are many flaws with our policies. Say, for example, tourism. How much? How many visitors can we cope with? Mr. Fan's motion contains a number of pointers, and in relation to my amendment, of course, I welcome new arrivals. But we need a sound immigration policy. Can we be our own gatekeeper when it comes to immigrants, and when it comes to tourism? We have to、uh, make better projection to see if we can cope in terms of our hotels and、um, transportation network. I'm not going to go into details about immigration policy, and I would like to focus on education. When it comes to education, I mentioned here that、uh, well, it is mentioned here that、uh, using Putonghua to teach Chinese language subject. I know that、uh, DAB strongly advocates using Putonghua to teach Chinese subject, and I taught、um, Chinese for two years in a secondary school, and I'm now teaching in a university. And if、uh, you ask me, I would. Very much love to use Cantonese to teach Chinese language, and if、uh, students are given the choice, they prefer using Cantonese to、um, as the medium of teaching. However, there is pressure even in universities; teachers are put under pressure to use、um, Putonghua to teach anything that is to do with Chinese, even history. In the past, we could use Cantonese to teach Chinese、uh, politics. What's the problem? Because most of our students speak、uh, Cantonese. Using Putonghua to teach、uh, Chinese can it really、uh, enhance our、um, Chinese proficiency? The Hong Kong Chinese University、uh, professor, Mr. Che,、um, studied. They did a study in this regard in 2004. He、uh, made a publication saying that、uh, using Cantonese as a medium of teaching would enhance、uh, interaction between students and teachers, and this will also encourage、uh, students to participate. And、uh, there is a study done in 2012 out of the 65 uh, countries that that were surveyed.、Um, Well, when it comes to Hong Kong, our reading proficiency ranks second, and Taiwan eighth. It proves that using Mandarin or Putonghua to teach Chinese as subject does not necessarily enhance、uh, a student's、uh, reading proficiency. And of course,、uh, there are lots of、um, colloquial terms or、um, spoken. Um, terms in Cantonese, and teachers will very often correct you to say to and remind you to use written Chinese. And it's a learning process, and that's what you go through in primary or secondary school. Teachers will teach you that you need to make adjustments、uh, when you write something down in Chinese. This is only a learning process, and I myself think that we need to. As soon as possible, review、um, the policy of using Putonghua to teach Chinese subject,、uh, Chinese language. And because of、uh, flaws in、uh, policy that result in、uh, Hong Kong-China conflict, well, we have limited resources, so we have to reflect upon what Mr. Fan said. That is.
the principle of Hong Kong people first. And I have repeated many times in this council when it comes to education that a lot of the education resources has been used on non uh, Hong Kong residents. I'm not talking about new arrivals. I'm talking about people who are not even Hong Kong citizens. They came. They come from other places. Well, I have um, amended Mr. Fan's original motion because I've spotted some factual errors. Currently, um, well, there is uh, less than 80 percent emission rate. Well, there, there is actually a, ce uh, a ceiling is about a 10 percent and, and no more than 20 percent. But when it comes to research po uh, postgraduate uh, programs, say MPhil, PhD, about 70 percent of the emission rate and for some faculties, 80 percent of the students are from the mainland. If we are to train um, talents for the mainland, we have to ask, do we have to fully subsidize such students with Hong Kong, pe Hong Kong taxpayers' money? We need to review such form of subsidy, and it is a pressing issue. If the administration does not deal with it uh, properly, you can imagine this will um, this will only uh, deteriorate, deteriorate the situation when uh, mainlanders are discriminated. We have to carefully use such precious resources. And uh, the same applies to kindergarten. In the original motion states that, we're, that the kindergartens are required to admit um, students living in the same district. However, there are now a lot of private kindergartens because we don't have 15-year free education yet. And I will leave it, the other areas for other DP members. Mr. Christopher Chung. Mr. President, um, if you do it, then you should admit it. Uh, this is fascist. This is a fascist motion. Accept it that this is fascist motion, and you don't need to hide. Uh, Gary Fenn's motion is drumming up uh, the message and ask the government to deal with uh, Hong Kong mainland conflict and use Hong Kong people first as a smoke screen. Uh, he proposed 10 policies, and they are um, to uh, polarize um, Hong Kong and the uh, mainland. Um, we cannot uh, amend that. We can only delete uh, all his proposals. Mr. Fan's uh, wedding is similar to a uh, motion is similar to that of the uh, last year. Last time the wedding was uh, short. Even the uh, opposition who used to support uh, him uh, didn't uh, support uh, his uh, proposal. They cross out the uh, mainland Hong Kong cross uh, uh, conflict. Uh, they cross out um, discriminatory um, wording. Mr. Fan's Hong Kong People First meant uh, antagonism against new arrivals is causing division in Hong Kong. It's utterly um, a um, sham. He uh, resists integration, resists uh, uh, being turned red, uh, resists grind, uh, grabbing land blindly. Those who uh, used to support him have um, draw a line. Uh, with him, and some even complain uh, to the EOC that that is against that is discrimination against new arrivals. He uh, want to fish in muddy water, yet he end up losing. Now he choose uh, change his policy. He use other means to discriminate against new arrivals. He um, widely publicizes his uh, views and um, cast conflict, uh, cast division, and you, if you look into the details, the devil, you will find the de uh, devil in the details. Now, number four, um, reduce existing emission rates of over 80 percent for mainland students. Um, this is a misrepresentation. Um, people may uh, misunderstood. Uh, may misunderstand uh, that uh, it, uh, they are mainlanders have occupied our um, school uh, places, but in fact, for some degree, there is no um, subsidi no stu mainland student in uh, subsidized space. As for a subsidized first degree course, um, less than uh, twenty percent, and if we include um, postgraduate students, 
from the mainland only 13 percent. Uh, Mr. Fan knows how to do sums. He is not so stupid, but he is just uh, pulling wool over our eyes. He just uh, cook up the figures to uh, frame other people. Mr. Fan uh, says that the uh, admission rate of um, mainland students accounts for 80 percent of the total number of um, funded uh, tertiary programs. Uh, that's a misrepresentation, and he has no intention to remove conflict between Hong Kong and mainland. Mr. Fan knows fully that the cal uh, the, the um, um, calculation of funded uh, places um, for mainland students and local students are separated. Even if mainland students are turned down, it doesn't mean that there will be more resources of local students. Say if a university has received less mainland students, the quota left will not benefit local students. According to Mr. Fan, uh, if there will be less mainland students, then there will only be more uh, students from Japan or from Taiwan or from overseas countries, but they will not benefit local students. Mr. Uh, Chan, Mr. Fan is just cheating. He wants to exclude the mainland students. Um, his proposal is not to give more resources to local students. Um, he harms others, but he doesn't benefit other people. Um, um, so it's only the only solution is to cross out this um, part. Say um, in part ten concerning the CSSA, uh, the CFA ruled on the um, eligibility of social security um, basing on the um, length of uh, stay in Hong Kong. Uh, this is re um, very different from what is being said in uh, para 10. There is no quota in under the CSSA scheme and there is no priority list. As long as you are eligible, you will be given CSSA. If they don't have enough money, then the government can come to this council to f seek supplementary provision. As for new arrivals, even if they are given CSSA, they will not squeeze out local people who need CSSA. And if there is, Mr. Fan should give us examples. Mr. Fan wants to increase CSSA, uh, include CSSA in the motion because he wants to make it a China-Hong Kong conflict. And he says that um, the government has to ensure that Hong Kong permanent residents may receive social welfare protection with priority. This is just to project a false image. He tried to uh, classify Hong Kong uh, residents. They, he tried to cause conflict between new arrivals and local people. That's despicable. This is fascism. Mr. President, the motion uh, just um, pour, pour oil on fire and cause further um, polarize uh, antagonism, and some are uh, stupid. And now he uh, said that um, prime uh, kindergartens must um, accept uh, students in the uh, same district. Now many parents want to send their uh, children to Kowloon Tong to uh, study in uh, prestigious uh, kindergartens. Some want to send their children to Hong Kong Island to go to uh, prestigious uh, kindergartens. But um, can everybody live in Kowloon Tong? Can everybody live in the mid-levels? Mr. Fan uh, doesn't allow parents to enroll their uh, children in another district. Is it reasonable? Well, say our district uh, council is just one street from Wen Chai, and if a child living um, just uh, at the boundary is asked to stay in the same district, is it reasonable? You take away the uh, right of parents uh, to choose schools for their children or the school's right to accept uh, students. That's really unreasonable uh, and also stupid, Mr. President. You've been a uh, school principal. You were a school principal. Because of time constraint, I can only uh, respond lightly to his proposals. He asked for a double um, assessment, and that will only 
uh, Hindu family reunion. It goes against um, giving priority to the people of Hong Kong, and the NPC has has already formed a clear view. If the issue is to be resolved by the law, there is no need to change the basic law. Uh, Cantonese, though, is not the only official language. His official status is undeniable. Um, he mentioned uh, that there is threat of uh, Cantonese being sidelined. Uh, he is just going, trying to um, cause uh, to to cause um, to, to damage um, the status of Putong Hua and also the uh, local uh, vernacular in the uh, villages. Uh, do you know that if you want to uh, protect local uh, the the vernacular language? As for um, receiving um, tourists, mainland tourists, uh, we can improve our facilities. As for Dongjiang River uh, water, the uh, Dongjiang water it gives priority to Hong Kong people. Even uh, Shenzhen, Dongjiang, and Heyuan suffer from drought. Hong Kong doesn't need uh, to ration water supply because we have Dongjiang water. Priority is given to Hong Kong people. As for other amendments, as for uh, Ms. Mo's amendment, um, she her amendment is really um, stupid, and she just exaggerated. Uh, she just um, uh, we we do not support that. As for Ms. Lin Wong's amendment, she has uh, changed uh, the obvious mistakes and also the stupid proposals, but many. Uh, recommendations cannot be uh, accepted. As for Tang Kapu's amendments, um, he has uh, crossed out most of the original motion with re importation of labor. The DAB is a review that we should assess the situation. We cannot oppose it across the board, and we will abstain, therefore. Thank you. Mr. Tang Kapu, President, uh, if um, we are xenophobic, uh, I mean, we can um, be. I like a fascist. I'm grateful to um, the um, members who, who spoke. Um, uh, some uh, members, uh, I mean, the, the motion is uh, really driving a wedge between um, the mainland, mainlanders and Hong Kong people. And I mean, it's so bigoted, uh, so blanket. Now, Mr. Gary Fan uh, should be grateful to us now if um, this motion was um, put forward by uh, pro-establishment uh, members, then Mr. Fan presumably would be uh, requesting a quorum call. Now, if uh, we are making uh, passionate um, arguments, um, he will certainly be um, requesting a quorum call. But we are um, accommodating uh, people. Now, I said that Mr. Fan's motion is um, Fabricate, fabricating the truth, uh, it is um, exaggerating the situation, it is bigoted. I do have um, statistics to back myself up. Ms. Um, Helena Wong um, has um, rectified, um, uh, put some of the situation right. Uh, Mr. Um, Christopher Chong uh, also said that uh, Mr. Fan's argument is uh, spurious. Now, uh, I think. Um, he is um, talking about changing um, blood in Hong Kong. Of those, um, 57 percent, uh, I mean, in Hong Kong, uh, Taiwan, um, Macau, um, it was a f um, 40 percent. 30 years on, um, the Hong Kong population um, Born population was some sixty two point eight percent. China, Macau, and Taiwan, mainly mainland um, China. A locally born population, um, it dropped to uh, thirty three point three percent, a drop of about um, seven percent. Now you talked about um, massive um, scale of um, immigration and changing. Um, uh, blood and so on, and this is uh, exaggeration. 1981, uh, locally born, um, 2.8 million, or one, 4.27 million. A rise of uh, 1.4 million. China, Macau, Taiwan, locally born, 1981, 1.97 million, 2011, 
rising to 2.26 million, a mere 300,000 uh, people. I think this is um, a fabrication of the truth uh, on the part of Mr. Fan. He is intensifying the divisiveness. I'm sure Mr. Fan knows about the statistics, but he chooses not to talk about it. The second exaggeration, of course, we have to admit that the local uh, government has to uh, give priority to the local people. They have to uh, satisfy the local population as a matter of priority, and nobody would um, deny this. But should we go so far as um, to blindly make a distinction between the two places? There are issues, uh, problems uh, that um, have nothing to do with CY Leung, are attributed to CY Leung administration. Um, Mr. Uh, CY Leung uh, successfully um, halted the uh, increase uh, in the um, birth of uh, babies born to non-permanent Hong Kong residents from China. As regards um, the supply of land um, to meet um, the housing needs, the administration has um, already stopped uh, those who become can become Hong Kong residents uh, by purchasing um, property. Now it has been changed um, to an investment scheme. I think all these are intended to address um, the needs of the people of Hong Kong. But he has attributed everything um, in a sweeping way to a uh, CY Leung administration. Now, mainlanders, visitors, or New arrivals. Uh, he said that they are competing for Hong Kong's resources. Now, you you put um, a written question a couple of weeks ago, and you you've got all the statistics. Those are booking uh, venues at the uh, LCSD. Um, many of them are from European countries, and there are far outnumbering um, the mainlanders. Hong Kong has a good infrastructure. I think we can share all the facilities among ourselves. He also said that new arrivals are competing for the welfare benefits. If you're looking at the issue from the resources point of view, why don't you talk about um, this rising uh, worrying uh, trend? I don't have any problem regarding human rights. And, and uh, there are those uh, coming to Hong Kong claiming that um, they're suffering from torture. Two years ago, I, I still remember the number was uh, six uh, 1,900, now the number stands at close to 10,000. They don't get any uh, cash uh, assistance from the government, but for those who claim uh, that they um, are subject to torture, um, they are getting um, legal aid, rental assistance, and food um, assistance. Last year, we talk, we're talking about uh, 500 million, 600 million, and now the number is really absolutely staggering. Now, I think uh, you are really um, targeting at um, the mainland um, people, obviously. You also uh, said that we have to uphold the local core values. Uh, this is filling me with concerns. I think uh, Mr. Fan is um, intensifying um, the undesirable trend in the community. I can't help uh, thinking that um, there is um, a cultural, um, a, um, a Northlist legend, uh, Mr. Louis Cha. Um, if uh, Mr. Louis Cha is um, today 20 odd years old um, with a heavily a pronounced uh, accent and when speaking Cantonese, what's going to happen to him? Will he be able to get the opportunity to uh, get ahead? Now, he's from China. Has he been uh, part of um, the Communist Youth League? Now, he will not be able to get ahead in Hong Kong given the um, atmosphere, atmosphere here in Hong Kong. Now, Mr. Fan is um, directly or indirectly uh, fomenting uh, this xenophobic um, feeling, then this is not the Hong Kong as we know it. Now, he said that as long as we uphold the core values, that some pan-democrats said that uh, as long as uh, the new arrivals um, are receptive to local core values, it would be okay. Now please, have a look 
at um, what they're doing. They are undermining uh, the very core values that they talk about, the rule of law. According to uh, Asia Pacific um, Institute of CUHK, on 30th of October, conducted a poll regarding um, 11 items of um, core values, 11 items of core values. The top one is 92% uh, rule of uh, law, first rule of law, followed by uh, integrity and clean government, uh, probity, social stability, freedom, civic uh, liberties, peace and love, uh, protection of uh, personal properties, fair competition, Number eight is um, the family responsibility, ninth, democracy, and number ten is uh, being accommodating um, and inclusiveness. The last one is a market economy. You talked about all these uh, different items, and Hong Kong is a pluralistic society with so many core values. We are an inclusive society. So regarding Mr. Fan's original motion, the FTU has uh, been uh, objecting to, to this. In a careful way, uh, Mr. Fan um, touched on uh, different issues. He even talked about uh, labor. The FTU is uh, fully aware of this uh, from the livelihood point of view, from economic point of view. We have to object to the expansion of the importation of labor scheme. Mr. Christopher Chong, we're not dead against any form of importation. We're merely saying that um, the immigration uh, immigration's, um importation scheme and the supplementary labor scheme would be enough to address uh, the needs of the labor problem in Hong Kong uh, while um, striking balance with um, the interest of uh, the Hong Kong people. So we're against the expansion of um, the labor importation scheme. We feel that the interaction between um, the cities uh, would be a normal course of event. But Mr. Fan is saying that um, the American people should be given top priority, and Hong Kong people therefore should be given top priority. Are you really pushing Hong Kong towards uh, Hong Kong independence? Thank you. My apologies. I first asked the Secretary for Education uh, to speak first. Secretary for Education. Mr. President, the relationship with Hong Kong and mainland is very close. Trade and social exchange is very frequent. It is a two-way street. It benefits people of both sides with the increase in exchanges. Some of the local citizens uh, may face some inconvenience arising from that. Because of difference in culture, there were unhappy incidents. The CE uh, has pointed out clearly that in areas where there are easy shortages, um, priority be given to local people. In considering the uh, continuous concern of Hong Kong's ability to receive um, tourists, the government is now considering controlling the or fine tuning the uh, increase in number of visitors and the visitors' mix. And having uh, considered the matter with the mainland authorities, it will announce the results. As for cross border students, the Bureau has introduced an, an amended arrangement for primary one places allocation and provide a school list for the mainland students. This is like a specific school net. By distributing the students, relief will be brought to different districts which are suffering from a tense situation of school places arising from cross-border students, and that will also safeguard the rights of cross-border students in getting a place in primary school. This is not a Hong Kong people first policy because cross-border students are also Hong Kong people. We are also pay, uh, putting a very close watch on the overall supply and demand of kindergarten places. If there is a need to increase supply, we will ask the kindergartens to make use of space available to increase the number of classrooms and encourage the um, um, kindergartens to use the registered classrooms like some more students. The mainland is our biggest trade partner, and Hong Kong is the second largest trade partner of the mainland. In the economic sphere, there will be further cooperation between Hong Kong and mainland to maintain economic growth and care for the long-term needs and interests of our future generations. Cross-border transportation network is very important to our economic development. There is a rising demand, and the relevant infrastructure work projects are necessary. As for the concern of project overruns, cost overruns, there is an existing mechanism to assess um, uh, um, project budgets. 
As for the agreement on Dongjiang Water, this year we talked to the Guangdong authorities on the new um, water supply agreement. We looked into the possibility of pay according to quantity, uh, but this approach will not set the amount of water supply and the Guangdong side is not able to guarantee uh, that we will be given adequate water supply in particular during the dry years. Hong Kong uh, will have um, it's the same climato uh, climatological situation as that of Guangdong. Um, our water collection, the, the water collected in, in our reservoirs may decline and Dongjiang water may decline and therefore Guangdong may not be able to provide adequate water to Hong Kong. Uh, to deal with climate change. We are now studying the possibility of building a desalination plant in uh, Changquanou. It's costly, it's energy consuming, and in, compar com in comparison, Dongjiang water is more cost effective. As for reclaimed water, we are studying the uh, use to provision of reclaimed water in NT Northeast, but including Shangshui Fanling and the NDAs, but reclaimed water can only be used for flushing or for non drinking purpose. Mr. President, since reunification, we have implemented one country, two systems, Hong Kong people ruling Hong Kong high degree of autonomy under one country, two system as a SAR. We make uh, capitalize on our advantages. We are an international city. We uphold rule of law, maintain open society, promote pluralistic development, and enhance our status as international connector. Uh, in formulation government policy, we take into account various factors comprehensively to make sure that the policy is constitutional, lawful, sympathetic, and reasonable. We listen to public opinion. We also can balance various uh, sectors' interests and needs, and we take into account the long term interests and developmental needs of Hong Kong. Uh, having uh, listened to, after listening to members, I the sec uh, and also the Secretary for Security and Secretary for Labor and Welfare will respond. Mrs. Xin Kai. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, today I'd like to uh, talk about the uh, way of handling tourist entry. Well, with uh, different schemes such as the IVS. I believe we're going to have uh, close to 60 million visitors come uh, coming to Hong Kong as of September. Um, the figure stood at 49 million, and uh, mainland visitors account for 77 percent. Well, is it the more visitors, the better? That depends on our receiving capacity, uh, whether people's daily lives will be affected, whether we have sub, um, sufficient transportation infrastructure to support that. Of course, administrative measures can be implemented. Uh, for example, as mentioned by Under Secretary, um, negotiations are going on with the mainland counterpart. At the same time, we can have. Um, uh, different measures. Well, as we know, for outbound travels, we do impose a, uh, a levy. For um, airport um, tax, is 120. That means for well, if one enters the territory, no tax will be imposed for outbound travel. However, travel agencies and airliners will um, collect the levy on behalf of the administration. But um, that land-based travel is exempted. Well, we should consider whether to impose um, levy or tax for uh, outbound visitors. However, it may be difficult to implement. A visitor may take different may take land transport to the border, and if the visitor uh, doesn't pay the levy, it may be difficult for um, the for us not to allow the visitor to go. Perhaps we can take a blanket approach and um, impose tax on all outbound travelers, including um, Foreign tourists and as well as locals, in order to uh, adjust the number of visitors coming to Hong Kong, we should do something. 
That means um, we uh, can implement administrative measures, but they cannot be selective. We should not just aim at uh, those with high consumption power. Uh, I don't think uh, airline passengers will be deterred uh, from coming to Hong Kong just because we impose a tax of $100 or so. If we have uh, land um, base transport uh, tax um, for these travelers as well, to some extent, it can deal a blow to those um, smugglers. Now that's also mentioned in Dr. Helena Wong's amendment that we can introduce an arrival tax on visitors entering the territories on land. Because uh, earlier on, as we know, um, there were smugglers uh, smuggling parallel goods uh, across the border, um, baby um, form milk formula, etc. So we can look into that. However, What we suggest is an arrival tax. Uh, as long as you pay the tax, you can enter. I think this is uh, fair because this can adjust the number of visitors uh, in, light, in the light of our um, capacity. If there are too many visitors uh, or tourists, it may not give other tourists a good impression anyway. So um, we should. We can consider this arrival tax at the same time we should avoid overcrowding because overcrowding would deter international tourists from coming to Hong Kong uh, because overcrowding may result in um, prices going up. Also, apart from um, the multi entry uh, permit, well, uh, there are other aspects not mentioned in the um, amendment. For Shenzhen residents, they can have multiple entry in the year, and we can discuss with the uh, Shenzhen authority whether the number can be reduced. As for um, visitors coming on land, they account for the largest percentage of the number of visitors coming to Hong Kong. So. Uh, if we can reduce the number of visitors coming on land, uh, we can reduce the impact. Apart from administrative measures, economic measures may also be imposed. It may be fairer, um, and the tax may also be imposed across the board to locals and visitors. So this amendment is about um, doing studies. We're not pushing the government to do anything yet, and if anything is to be implemented, a consultation should be conducted first. I want to uh, speak on another point. For um, research uh, candidates in graduate schools and uh, and a doctorate places, in fact, uh, 70 or 80 percent of them are non-locals. We have allocated so much resources to cultivate local talents. So what is the point of cultivating non-local um, students? I think the administration should reconsider whether proper al resources have been allocated to um, cultivate local ta local students. If I think if the uh, percentage is just 30 or 40 percent for mainland students, then it's understandable. But now it's uh, close to 70 or 80 percent. Mr. Yu Si Wing. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Hong Kong it has closed ties with mainland since the opening up of and reform policy uh, in the 1970s. We have been um, utilizing um, or our uh, competitive uh, com uh, edge, as, but 30 years on, um, the situation has changed. China has become the major economic uh, power, and uh, 
in t in return, we rely on uh, China to uh, have capital and to attract foreign investment. And um, in fact, this is the uh, global trend that all uh, and that other countries would like to have a share of the China market. However, uh, there are members such as Mr. Gary Fan uh, who go uh, who goes against the uh, trend. Um, um, who uh, incite to na in uh, nativism and um, pick on um, new arrivals and mainlanders. Mr. Gary Fan is not the first. It's not the first time for Mr. Gary Fan to um, move such a motion of putting Hong Kong people first. One must question his motive for moving this motion. Well, first of all, um, in his speech, he uh, states that we must stay, safeguard the uh, the uh, constitutional status of Cantonese, and uh, we believe that this is um, um, trying to stigmatize uh, the learning of Putonghua as mainlandization and to exclude the use of Putonghua. But as we understand, uh, under the policy of bilingualism. Uh, Bilateracy and bi uh, trilingualism, we, and with the uprising of China, many foreigners would like to uh, build up connections with China. And it, Putonghua has become an international language, and Putonghua has become um, an important language tool uh, internationally, uh, same as English. And it, and it is an uprising international trend um, to learn Putonghua. And if one grasps. Uh, grasps Putonghua uh, at an early age. It, it's not a bad thing. It, it is uh, very um, conducive to enhancing our competitive edge, and it does not conflict with uh, the use of a local Cantonese language. And in Mr. Gary Fan's speech, he also proposes to reduce the admission rate of 80% uh, of mainland students for funded programs and give priorities to local students in the use and allocation of local education resources. He's saying so uh, to um, incite uh, anger in uh, local students towards mainland students, and this is unjust for degree holders, sub-degree holders, and Postgraduate programs, the tertiary institutions, can admit um, non-local students um, to these programs up to 28 percent. And according to um, the survey, non-local students only accounted for 15 percent in 2013-14. Mr. Gary Fan's remarks would mislead. People um, into thinking that all the place, funded places in universities are taken up by mainland students. As we know, across the world, in order to promote their academic status, many universities would try to attract uh, foreign students and provide subsidies to talented students. In fact, over the past decades, the figure has been on the rise. Uh, because many tertiary institutions have also um, started to operate self-financing programs, only the uh, uh, those who, who um, do academically well can receive um, sponsorship. So it is irresponsible f for making such remarks. Mr. Gary Fan uh, has been trying to mislead the public by saying that mainland students have taken up 80% of the funded programs in universities. His motive is clear. On economic development, um, Mr. Fan also proposes a cap on the number of visitors under the IVS and to abolish the multi entry IV uh, individual visit endorsements, and I'm against that. Since the implementation of the IVS, um, we have seen um, huge consumption growth in various sectors such as retail, hotel catering, etc. Uh, with uh, the creation of a lot of jobs, um, his suggestion would send a message 
to uh, others that we are receiving too many visitors and uh, visitors are not welcome. Uh, indeed, some visitors have affected the um, uh, the daily lives of uh, some of the local residents, but it has to do with the administration's insufficient measures to deal with uh, parallel traders. Now, as pointed out by Mr. Sin Chung Kai uh, just now, for the suggestion of the, an arrival tax, we don't think it is feasible because it may cause um, uh, a congestion at the border. So, for the series of measures proposed, we don't. I don't think um, they can resolve the issue of nuisance caused by visitors to to um, local neighborhood. Uh, on the contrary, it will affect um, economic development. Um, I hope that uh, the radical um, members would uh, think for the sake of economic development and um, tr come up with. Uh, ways to resolve the problem in a positive manner. Closing our gate will not protect our next generation. It will narrow the vision of our next generation and limit our development potential. I so submit, Mr. President. I oppose the original motion. Mr. Tony Jay. Mr. President. Today's motion is on ad adhering to the need to put Hong Kong people first in formulating policies. I agree with the direction of the uh, title of the motion that uh, Hong Kong people should be given priority when it comes to formulation of policies. Uh, this is perfectly reasonable, and uh, the responsibility is squarely, is, on, is squarely on the shoulder of the administration. However, the content of the motion um, is flawed because uh, there will because there will be a lot of problems if the motion, if the content of the motion is uh, implement, implemented. So as a, so, I'm not going to support the original motion of Mr. Fan. In a lot of places, of course, when it comes to formulation of policies, they will put priority to uh, the need of uh, the local citizens, and uh, if necessary, there may be a slight tip. Of the policies uh, uh, to enhance the uh, well-being of um, the local citizens. Uh, say, for example, in recent days uh, there are there is the zero quota for pregnant for um, type two um, mothers uh, carrying type two babies, and also the uh, Hong Kong people, uh, Hong Kong uh, property for Hong Kong people. And for these policies, they are exceptional measures in an exceptional circumstance, and they put the priority to Hong Kong people. However, this is only uh, time limited. As soon as the situation has returned to normal, these policies will have to be uh, set aside. Otherwise, there will be far-reaching implications um, to Hong Kong's image. And over the year, uh, over the years, I have been in this council fighting for policies that will um, put priority to local businesses, so that uh, professionals and businesses in Hong Kong, especially SMEs, will have more opportunities or more opportunities to participate in Hong Kong affairs and businesses so that they can um, accumulate experience and which in turn will enhance their capacity and competence. So if necessary, I support the administration's approach to formulate policies that would put Hong Kong people first. In the original motion, there is a, a proposal to amend Article 22 of the Basic Law. That is um, the right of a bow for type two babies born here will not prevail. Well, I would like to um, ask uh, Mr. Fan whether he thinks that the type two babies uh, should have rights of a bow, uh, and, and whether they are Hong Kong people. If he thinks that they are Hong Kong people, then they should be given. Um, a priority in formulation of uh, policies. How come, if he thinks so, that uh, he would advocate uh, taking away their rights of abode? Because that is erroneous in uh, in the logic. And when it comes to putting a cap on uh, IVS and also amendment to the Dongjiang Water Agreement, 
and for the latter, uh, the agreement should be changed uh, to charges based on supply quantity. This is putting the uh, cart before the horse because for many other countries and places, they would like to attract more visitors to boost their own economy, say, for example, there there will be staging of um, numerous events and to enhance the uh, capacity and quality of service of the various sectors. They put in place benefiting policies to attract visitors to come to Hong Kong to uh, spend money. If Hong Kong is to do it the other way around and put a cap on the number of visitors, instead of trying to enhance our receiving capacity, then this will give the impression that Mr. Fan discriminates against mainland visitors. And there is no benefit that I can see. I'm afraid I, I cannot support uh, these items. And in relation to the Dongjiao Water Agreement, and if it is changed to charging based on quantity supplied, it is unrealistic. Of course, uh, water is precious resources. And I'm sure that a lot of uh, legislators have gone through the same experience as I did, um, as I have. That is, only four hours of water supply over a period of four days. Maintaining a steady supply of uh, water is very important to Hong Kong. If we change the um, charging model of uh, Dongjiang water, um, there is a chance that a steady supply of water may be may be changed as well. And we don't know whether it will in the end uh, reduce the cost. And in the original motion, there are also suggestions that large-scale infrastructure projects should be stopped to avoid uh, overspending. I think this is just uh, throwing the um, baby out with the bath of water. And it's also unrealistic. And I think that uh, we should um, effectively monitor the progress of uh, the projects and to uh, also gatekeep when it comes to uh, funding approval. What we see now, however, is that uh, there is filibustering and uh, some legislators have been dragging their feet and stalling. And this has, uh, in turn, poses obstacles to uh, funding approvals of various projects. There is a long queue in the, um, the funding application. Workers are waiting to start to start their job, and their livelihood has been affected. And this, in turn, affects Hong Kong's overall economic development. I think the um, the opposition um, are, is to be held responsible. Ms. An Chang, thank you, Mr. President. Today we have Mr. Fan's motion to put Hong Kong people first. I think uh, this must muddles the water. When a government formulates policies, of course, it's for the benefit of um, their own citizens. And for Hong Kong government, when it comes to formulating policies, it's for Hong Kong people, not for um, other citizens, uh, of citizens of other people, of other countries, say, for example, um, public housing, um, social welfare, they only Hong Kong people are eligible, not foreigners. So if there is no um, no question of uh, putting Hong Kong people first or putting uh, foreigners first. Mr. Fan also mentions about a large amount of uh, unidentified um, mainlanders coming to Hong Kong to live or to visit. Well, I hope Mr. Fan will take back what he said, because this is serious discrimination against people from the mainland. Over 96% of the people coming from uh, the mainland are for family reunion. And we have 7 million people in Hong Kong. I believe that uh, your ancestors or my ancestors or um, the ancestors of the legislators and the ancestors of 90% uh, of Hong Kong people were from China. And if today you say we should stop mainlanders from coming to Hong Kong, this is uh, highly discriminatory. 
discriminating. And he also suggests uh, amending Article 22 of the Basic Law in relation to um, Type 2, uh, in relation to pregnant women carrying Type 2 babies. Mr. Fan, you should do your research. The central authorities have told us that um, uh, if indeed there is a no limit or no quota for mainlanders to come to Hong Kong, then uh, as a result, uh, then Hong Kong population may increase exponentially. However, there are some um, human rights advocates or activists fighting for the rights of uh, Hong Kong families. And there are also people who say that uh, type 2 babies uh, should not be allowed in Hong Kong and they should not have a right of a vote. And uh, Ms. Helena Wong also said that about 70% of research students are non Hong Kongers. Ms. Wong, I, I'd advise you to think carefully about this because as 70% of um, the well, for these 70% of non-local uh, research students, they're invited to come to Hong Kong because they are creme de la creme. Why? Because universities and tertiary education institu um, institutions, they rely on their um, their students' uh, publications or uh, academic performance to get a high ranking. Were it not for these um, top students from the mainland propping up the ranking of uh, these universities, I'm sure that uh, their ranking would have plummeted. So you should first talk to the uh, vice chancellors of universities before you make this suggestion. And Ms. Mo talks about uh, building our own desalination plant instead of using Dongjiang water. So I would advise uh, Ms. Mo to ask Hong Kong people whether they would uh, use the salinated uh, water instead of Dongjiang water. Well, maybe one day when we have exhausted the uh, Dongjiang water, uh, or uh, any other uh, um, source, then maybe we should start thinking about desalination. Now, there was also a mention about um, our election system involving dogs of the central authorities. That's what Ms. Mo said. I think that it was uh, members of the DP and Civic Party that have stood in these elections. I I wonder whether you ha you're actually referring to your own fellow members or members of uh, the DP that they are dogs. Please don't be so blinkered. Don't have a tunnel vision. You have to think about uh, the overall situation and the sentiment of uh, Hong Kong people. I so submit. Thank you. Mr. Tommy Joe. President, I agree that uh, we have to deal with um, the conflict between Hong Kong and mainland in a proactive manner, but I don't think we should deal with this um, through formulating policies on putting Hong Kong people first. Now, some of them are good, uh, like the um, Hong Kong uh, land for Hong Kong people that was uh, first um, suggested by the Liberal Party. We are saying that um, there should be land made available for smaller units to be built uh, so the people in Hong Kong will be able to get on the housing ladder. And um, I'm not suggesting, we're not suggesting that uh, all properties should be um, sold to Hong Kong people as a matter of a priority. Now, if uh, we um, 
poor Hong Kong people first on everything and anything, uh, then、um, we will be perceived、uh, as being xenophobic. And also、um, the baby formula restriction. Now, if、um, 1.3 billion people are coming to purchase、uh, baby formula in Hong Kong, then we will be、um, reaping a lot of、uh, profits. But the thing is.、Um, We have to、uh, make the importers and the wholesalers aware that、um, there has to be su sufficient supply, and instead of、um, imposing any restriction, the IVS、uh, number has、uh, crept up, and this has、uh, caused some trouble to Hong Kong people. But we have to、um, get to the bottom of、um, the matter. Um, this uh, started in um, July 2003 um, this, as part of the long-term plan.、Uh, the government,、uh, however, did not、uh, improve the receiving capacity and、uh, to cater for the、um, increasing number of、um, IVS、uh, visitors. For retail sector in Mong Kok Causeway Bay, uh, recently. Um, The traders are affected by the protesters, and the IVS visitors are、um, going to other parts of Hong Kong、um, to do their own shopping. The Liberal Party suggested that、uh, there should be a、um, boundary shopping、uh, facility that should be built. However, the、uh, CEDB or SED, Mr. Greg So, a couple of months ago,、uh, said in response that. Um, this would involve、um, private land. It would take an awful long time for land to be acquired, and it would be、uh, far better for、uh, to leave it to the market. I think this is uh, really uh, fobbing us off.、Um, it's been ten years uh, since uh, IVS was introduced. If the government seized the opportunity and provide、uh, the facilities at the border,、uh, then I'm sure a lot of problems could have been、uh, resolved. And he said that we we have to leave it to the market. I think、um, the government is、uh, really backward in coming forward, and they are not、um, interested in it. President, if、uh, we're not careful,、uh, uh, we will be suffering the、uh, consequences of a、uh, pendulum effect. It will never stay in the middle of、uh, the pendulum. So the Liberal Party、uh, has always been、um, neutral. Because of the change in、um, public sentiments,、um, the Liberal Party um, is um, looking at、um, a declining、uh, figure. Now, if、uh, we do away、uh, with、uh, the multi-entry、um, visa scheme, then it would deal an even more severe blow to the retail sector. We have to tackle the、uh, parallel traders. The、uh, multiple entry schemes should be converted into uh, one um, single day、uh, visa scheme. The government should、uh, enlist the support of the Shenzhen authorities、um, to exchange、um, intelligence to tackle the parallel traders. The only thing I like to talk about is the importation of labour. The motion.、Um, Tells us not to import、uh, labour blindly, but I am urging members not to object to this idea blindly. The people are really squaring up against one another. Um, they, um, they, when we talk about importation of labour, as of uh, 2012, uh, only 2,410 uh, low-skilled workers being imported, only 0.1 percent of the labour force, and this is uh, not uh, blind. Uh, importation of labour. I like to say in passing,、uh, President that,、uh, James Tien always said that given the、uh, high property prices and high land price policy,、uh, the cement and the raw materials are decreasing, but the wages are standing at a high level, and as as a result, property prices are still high. It is、um, a fact that、uh, the demographics are getting、um, older.、Uh, we have to、uh, bring in the labour to. Cater for the situation; otherwise,、uh, there will be um, more um, the detrimental effect. Now, President,、uh, we talk about the、uh, standard working hours in Singapore.、Uh, they are importing labour. Why don't we follow、uh, Singapore's example? All drivers are put on hold speaking in Singapore. Why don't you follow suit?
In the near term, we can see the side effect of um, the labor shortage. Given the limit, limited pool of labor, a lot of um, the SMEs are unable to, to recruit in the um, F and B industry, the, the people are not interested in making investment because of the lack of labor. A lot of uh, the micro enterprises and SMEs, and they are really um, struggling to stay afloat, and they uh, resort to uh, a centralized um, kitchen system to uh, cater for the situation. If uh, we're inward looking and uh, not improve from um, the situation. This will undermine our competitive edge. The investors will be deterred, and this uh, will only be detrimental to the workers. I keep saying that um, we have to look at the median uh, wage in Hong Kong in the importing uh, workers. That will guard against the possibility of um, the employers undercutting the wages, and that would be good enough protection. I don't think one should object to an importation of labor. Or uh, because of um, the fact that we have to put Hong Kong people first. Mr. Leung Chi Chow, President. Mr. Fan uh, said that we have to uh, formulate policies on the basis of uh, putting Hong Kong people first, and this is the, the motion, the wording of the motion. I do not believe that this will enable us um, to, to do anything except to, um, to harm Hong Kong people. I would like, uh, first of all, to share uh, with members a real-life story. About 20 years ago, when Tin Shui Wai was um, taking in population, Kingswood Villa, uh, there, there was a bus route from Kingswood uh, Villa to Central. There is another route uh, from Kingswood to uh, Xiong Sui. The uh, bus routes uh, were very popular uh, because of the limited number. The Kingswood uh, Villa residents uh, suggested that the priority be given to Kingswood uh, residents to the exclusion of other people, and the fare should be kept at a, at a lower level. The councillors, uh, district councillors and residents uh, were very fed up. Uh, they applied for a new route, uh, 276, uh, going to Xiong Sui. In two or three years' time, all the um, all these uh, Kingswood uh, routes um, were closed down because people, the KMB routes, uh, were lured to this KMB route. Now, this incident uh, shows us that um, if uh, we give priority to um, certain people in an unfair manner, uh, that will not be good. According to statistics, 2012, um, the IVS uh, brought uh, $20 billion worth of um, benefits to Hong Kong, and 110,000 job opportunities have been created as a result. The IVS policy has um, also given a short in the arm of um, the Hong Kong's economy. In 2003, July, um, the uh, Scheme was brought in. It's been 11 years. The number of people coming has been increasing. It shows that the mainland uh, people do have a pretty good impression of Hong Kong. But given the sheer number of um, IVS visitors, um, it has given rise to uh, problems in Hong Kong, and that's um, for sure. On a macro level, uh, IVS is um, doing Hong Kong a lot of good, although the grassroots people may not be able to experience uh, all the uh, benefits. When the daily lives um, are affected by the IVS, um, the, 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 um, there is um, very much a, a backlash uh, against the IVS. Mr. Fan talked about uh, the conflict between Bingland and Hong Kong. I think. Um, Um, this is a fact, and I don't think we should be uh, living um, in an ivory tower. And the, the visitors are not robots, and they are they're emotional, sentient beings. Um, the interaction between people is uh, prone to cause uh, conflicts. It's a question of how we can resolve them. I don't think we should lay the blame on the visitors or uh, fall over, uh, fall, fall out with um, the, the uh, mainland visitors. I don't think uh, we should um, turn away um, the 
visitors because there are problems. This is not the right way uh, to deal with um, problems that are besetting us. The mainland uh, pregnant women are flooding. We're flooding into Hong Kong, uh, taking away the um, maternity beds from the locals. Uh, the government um, stopped um, this um, policy, and that problem has been resolved. Um, the um, scrambling for baby formula uh, by the mainlanders. Um, the government has introduced um, the restriction, uh, limiting the number of tins to two. Uh, the cross boundary students um, made the local students um, have to cross um, districts up to attend school, but the government has uh, take, taken advantage of um, the vacant schools and addressed um, the problem of the cross boundary students. All these measures are intended to address the problems. President, over the past two months, um, the Occupy occupiers um, have um, taken over the streets and they have smashed the rice balls of the traders and they were asked to uh, give way, but the protesters are saying that um, they're doing so for the sake of uh, your own future. I think they are uh, snatching away um, people's interests. And I think um, the same can be said about um, the argument um, against the IVS visitors. There are people who um, turn away um, the, the visitors, they're calling them locusts. And this is a repeat of um, the um, Occupy movement, and this will be the, the, to the detriment of Hong Kong. The DAB uh, proposed that at the Long Ma Chao border, there should be a, a massive uh, mega shopping uh, center to uh, cater for the day trippers from the mainland of China. If this can be implemented, then we can um, resolve or relieve uh, the overcrowdedness on the rail, and the prices can also ease. And the retail sector will be uh, getting a better prospect um, uh, of business. It's going to be a win-win situation. We appreciate that there are many problems um, that um, are in need of a solution. And we hope that um, while framing uh, the policies, the government uh, should um, try to alleviate um, the, the problem. The government should uh, identify all the problems that, that there should be a result. Thank you. Mr. Ma Fung Kuo. Mr. President, last year, Mr. Gary Fan moved another motion of putting Hong Kong people first, which discriminated against new arrivals and uh, mainland visitors. In the end, the motion was struck down. Now Mr. Gary Fan has moved another motion of adhering to the need to put Hong Kong people first in formulating policies. He sets out a number of requests on various fronts from um, right of abroad to education, business environment, welfare, uh, CSSA uh, scheme. Um, he under the pretext of uh, putting Hong Kong people first, he um, proposes discrimination against mainlanders and new arrivals, which is against the spirit of a free and open uh, economy in Hong Kong and the uh, free and open uh, policies of the government. Um, this is to the detriment of Hong Kong uh, economy. On immigration, he targets the um, right of a boat of babies born um, locally to parents or not Hong Kong uh, permanent residents. The opposition came back then in the Chong Fung Yun case, supported strongly, um, resulting in the, the uh, right of a boat issue. And uh, mainland students coming to Hong Kong have caused uh, uh, the problem of insufficient places in the north, uh, school places in the northern district had not it uh, had not um, the uh, zero quota delivery quota been um, implemented 
we would not have been able to uh, stop more type 2 babies uh, from being born in Hong Kong. With this zero delivery quota policy, the issue is now resolved, and I do not agree to casually amending the basic law. As a free uh, port and uh, a metropolis, Hong Kong must not close its gate. So I cannot agree with today's motion. Mr. President, over the years, Hong Kong uh, has been enjoying the advantages brought about by mainland visitors. A large number of visitors uh, come, come to Hong Kong um, to um, uh, and that stimulates jobs uh, creation. But now we are seeing a strong sentiment of uh, animosity towards the mainland, uh, mostly due to the, the uh, cultural differences between the two places, especially with the um, uh, economic power of mainland uprising. We are seeing more frequent exchange between the two places, and uh, we indeed there are dif cultural differences and differences in the daily uh, habits of the people, and such conflicts should be resolved through mutual understanding and communication. However, there are some who, uh, under the pretext of nativism, exaggerates uh, mainland China conflicts and um, ha um, have a, a hatred and animosity towards uh, visitors and mainland students, and suggest that they should be. Um, shut uh, outside um, the gate, uh, and this also affect, uh, hampers exchange uh, of the people between the two places, and this will intensify conflict between the two places. In fact, the uh, two governments should adjust their policies, and it, we can only survive if we um, are tolerant. Um, and if we allow a pluralistic society, and the administration should fully review existing public services and policies, and set uh, down long-term population policies, um, in light of the population projections on education, welfare, etc., for um, proper allocation of public resources to cope with future developments. This is the responsibility of the administration. Mr. President, in last year's debate, I appealed to various sectors of the community to refrain from inciting China-Hong Kong conflicts any further. The uh, uh, Hong Kong uh, Native Force, uh, the organization formed by um, Scary Fan and Ms. Claudia Moore from Civic Party, um, published a, a put up an advertisement in newspapers to uh, smear mainland new arrivals and to incite discrimination um, against mainland visitors and new arrivals uh, uh, by Hong Kong people. They also insulted um, mainland visitors instead of trying to resolve um, the conflicts. It does great harm to uh, undermining the uh, national identity and sense of belonging of Hong Kong people. In fact, in recent incidents also shows how weak the sense uh, of um, belonging um, our young people have um, of the, our country. Well, we all understand that after reunification, um, if um, China does well, then we will also do well. However, there are many who still don't understand one country, two systems, and, and they may uh, still have um, fears. So, uh, all these suggestions can only treat symptoms. Most importantly, we should. Um, uh, bear in mind uh, the basic law, and it's been the uh, 25 uh, years, and um, the Education Bureau should step up um, the uh, promotion of basic law so that young people have a stronger sense of awareness of the basic law and their identity. Now, Ms. Claudia Mo and Dr. Helena Wong have made amendments. And um, they have put forward uh, pro propositions that target mainlanders. 
I don't think they're reasonable. I agree with Mr. Christopher Jones' um, amendment. As for Mr. Tan Carpio's amendment, they oppose um, the uh, expansion of the SOS scheme. Uh, this is a controversial issue. We should not have a, a conclusion at this stage. I so submit, Mr. James Tin. Mr. President, the first sentence of Mr. Gary Fan's motion is this. This council urges the SAR government to proactively handle China-Hong Kong conflicts and to adhere to the need to put Hong Kong people first in formulating policies. I think if the motion stops at that, then a lot of people would uh, have agreed. However, Gary Fan's motion continues um, in the following. Um, on various fronts like immigration, education, welfare, etc. I think on the whole, what is um, included in the motion is, detriment, is to the detriment of Hong Kong. Because we must understand uh, that we have 7 million Hong Kong, um, uh, we have a 7 million population in Hong Kong. We have a 1,000 square kilometers uh, area, and uh, we are heavily reliant on mainland on a number of aspects. Drinking water is one example. If we rely on uh, a proposed desalination plant in Changquan O to generate drink, uh, potable water, the uh, production will, can only be um, 5 to 10 percent, and uh, the cost would be 12. Uh, dollars per cubic meters. So uh, would the public agree that we should pay um, this price for drinking water and for fresh provision, beef, pork, etc., uh, and vegetables, um, 90, 80 or 92 percent of veg vegetables come from the mainland. If we are really to draw such a clear line. Um, what will happen to our living standard? What uh, will happen to inflation? Uh, of course, on the face of it, Mr. Gary Fan's motion uh, seems uh, to to be in the light to the liking of Hong Kong people. Of course, we should put Hong Kong people first rather than putting mainlanders first. However, well, for example, in the North District, um, Hong Kong students should have priority uh, to school admission, then this is reasonable. Um, and also um, for babies born locally to one of the parents who is a Hong Kong permanent resident, that yes, that priority should, um, should be given. This is only reasonable. However, we are a free economy. If um, we put Hong Kong people first appropriately in certain areas, and the Liberal Party supports it. However, for some other aspects and the amendments proposed by um, uh, uh, some members, then it looks like we no longer have any self-confidence at all. We need to protect ourselves on every front. But from another perspective, many Um, many businessmen um, in the past uh, went to mainland to uh, operate their factories. Nowadays, they uh, started their business, uh, various businesses on the mainland. And I don't think that all these uh, ideas can be implemented in a year. And um, as Mr. Tommy Jones said. Uh, the problem of, with um, construction project delays um, is uh, labor shortage. And uh, say for um, housing production, if we are to uh, provide 470,000 flats uh, in the coming 10 years from 2013-14 uh, to 2023-23, then there should be um, importation of labor uh, at an appropriate scale. We are not suggesting that labor should be imported blindly. But now the uh, grassroots uh, members of the public uh, uh, are bearing the brunt because of the soaring um, costs. If you don't have um, sufficient uh, housing supply, then uh, where do people live? I think uh, all these suggestions would be um, to the detriment of uh, Hong Kong's development in the long run. I was chairman of the Hong Kong Tourism Board for uh, six years, and for the four major pillars, financial services, 
property services, um, uh, high-end technology. Well, frankly, it is hard to see how pu the public w would directly benefit from these three pillars. Whereas for um, the tourism pillar, when tourists come um, and um, purchase goods and services, we have retail shops um, from selling luxury products, um, small shops, uh, um, and even um, hawker stores. Uh, they stand to benefit. Although it accounts for only 4.7% of the GDP, it, cre it, ha uh, it creates over 200,000 jobs. So comparing to uh, um, listed companies, IPOs, how much money uh, would... Uh, uh, the pub, uh, members of the public uh, get from it. Sale, land sale, no, only tourism can make um, the uh, public in general benefit. Although under the IVS we have more visitors and um, you may see longer queues in restaurants, well, if we do not have sufficient supporting facilities, we can build more. But look around in uh, famous tourist cities like Paris and London. Do they have a cap on the number of visitors to protect themselves? No. If the hotels are getting pricier, then uh, fewer tourists would go, and naturally, f uh, tourists would go elsewhere. So um, we can rely on the uh, market economy to adjust, uh, uh, to make adjustments. So if we can continue to um, to uh, protect ourselves in such a manner, this. Um, is really alarming because we're losing confidence in ourselves. We should rebuild what we had, um, the self-confidence we had in the 1970s and 80s. Um, of course, the mainland is growing uh, at a rapid um, pace, and uh, every few years we may find that we are lagging behind. The Liberal Party opposes the original motion. Mr. Wong Ting Kwong. Thank you. Well, um, there are differences in our culture, in our habit, and uh, economic development. So when there are interactions, of course, there are conflicts. And majority of Hong Kong people don't agree that um, there is a, a, a divide between Hong Kong people and um, mainland people. And they don't agree that um, we should deny the benefits reaped from cooperation between the both, between the two sides, and in the original motion, there is there are suggestions that um, the number of visitors from the uh, mainland under IVS should be capped in order to minimize the impact on Hong Kong from a large amount of uh, visitors. I would like to say that uh, in 2003, when the IVS individual visits scheme started, it was to help Hong Kong after the post-SARS um, economic uh, downturn. And uh, lots of people were welcome this uh, policy. We think, the DAB thinks, that uh, we have been benefiting from this policy. And when there are problems, we ditch it without second thought. It's not desirable. Instead, we should explore effective solutions to deal with the problems. As at uh, the first six months of 2013, under the IVS, there are there were a total of uh, over 100 million people coming to Hong Kong. This has created jobs in the retail sector, hotel sector, catering sector, and many other industries. The number of hotels has risen from 96 in 2003 to 217 to um, this year. And the number of people working in uh, the hotel industry has increased from 30,000 to 70,000. And we're talking about over uh, one hundred billion dollars in two thousand three uh, to uh, two hundred and forty billion to this year when it comes to the um, 
um, G, the gross revenue, and we're also talking about a large amount of uh, jobs created in the catering industry. This year, there are altogether 240,000 jobs in this industry. Of course, as a result, there are problems. Say, for example, um, uh, transportation uh, is. Uh, oh, is, has reached its capacity. There are traffic congestions. Prices have increased. The relevant departments uh, should s expedite co the construction of uh, supporting facilities for the tourism industry. And they should be supporting uh, measures and they should talk to mainland authorities about the IVS policy. When it comes to parallel traders, there should be enhanced cooperation between the two, between authorities of both sides to curb such activities. The management of the IVS system should be better managed. If you hold a visa under the IVS and come to Hong Kong and engage in parallel uh, trade activities, then you should be barred from coming to Hong Kong for a certain period of time. Mainlanders love Hong Kong brands. This is an economic opportunity. We're talking about a huge potential retail market. There should be facilitating measures to enable mainlanders to purchase Hong Kong products, maybe designated areas, shopping areas in Hong Kong. And in the original motion, um, there is mention about uh, stopping uh, white elephant projects for blindly pursuing integration between Hong Kong and the mainland. Well, these infrastructures are necessary for Hong Kong's long-term economic benefit and uh, the long-term needs of Hong Kong people. Why do you, why are they called white elephant projects? The delay of these projects and thereby um, Thereby, a project cost. Thereby, um, project cost being pushed up is not the fault uh, of the administration, but maybe some uh, pan Democrats. We see a, a lot of infrastructures uh, overspending, including the Hong Kong, including the XRL, the High Street Rail, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, the Liantang, uh, Hang Yun Wai, um, BCP border control points, and other projects. I uh, hope that all the uh, difficulties and obstacles can be surmounted. And these projects can take off the ground so that interaction and integration between the two sides can be expedited. Mr. Deputy, people from the both sides actually are flesh and blood. Conflict is a necessary evil in the process of integration of the of the two sides. We have to enhance publicity and public education, and surely a misunderstanding would be dispelled. And this should not be used by people with a hidden agenda. Uh, they should not be allowed to drive a wedge between the people of the two sides. Mr. Fan's motion is to provoke. Um, the differences and uh, the conflicts between the between people of the two si of two sides, and I do not accept legislators uh, using harsh words to describe people that are from the same um, ethnicity. I object to Mr. Fan's motion. Thank you, Mr. Albert Hall. Policies to putting Hong Kong people first. If it is understood to be the uh, objective of formulation of policy and if it is a way to assess effectiveness of policies, then it is perfectly reasonable because there is responsibility for the local government uh, to put the welfare of 
their citizens first. Hong Kong is an open, advanced and international city. We respect human rights. Everyone is equal. Everyone should be treated with dignity. These are our fundamental values embraced by Hong Kong people and it's our pride. So policies putting Hong Kong people first should be done in a way that there is a no discrimination. When it comes to formulation and the implementation of policies, sometimes there may be different treatments of different groups. We have to make sure that such um, different treatment is well justified and cer certain fundamental principles should prevail. Say, for example, if uh, someone's life is in danger, a uh, police officer or um, uh, a doctor is trying to save that person, then there should not be any different in treatment. Say, for example, when a fireman is uh, saving someone from a fire, then there should not be any priority accorded to a certain type of people because everyone is equal. That is, there is no room for debate in this regard. I think we're talking about allocation of resources. Different Difference in treatment should be fully justified and in proportion. As long as the law is clear, the intention is clear, then there is no an element of uh, discrimination. Some policies uh, we find that accept them acceptable. Say, for example, Hong Kong property for Hong Kong people because of uh, lim of the limited land resources here. We have a shortage of housing supply, so we have to have policies to ensure that uh, Hong Kong people are protected. When it comes to labor policies, we have to accord priority to Hong Kong people. So there are um, policy restrictions imposed against uh, non-Hong Kong citizens. When it comes to the use of uh, social resources, say for example, um, social securities, um, um, social welfare, health care and education, we have to be very clear that of course uh, for visitors, people who don't have right of a bold, there should be a difference in treatment because we have to take care of local residents first. And if we differentiate between permanent residents and new arrivals, that is uh, those that have not, have yet to get their right of a vote, then we have to be very cautious because new arrivals are already part of the family. They only have to meet the residence requirement before they can get right of a vote. And we have to remember that they are here to stay. And a lot of these families have become permanent residents of Hong Kong. So we have to make sure that these families are given uh, care and um, protection. Article 36 states uh, that Hong Kong's um, people's right to social welfare should be protected by the law. The administration has uh, imposed a residence requirement of seven years. There are problems because this has rendered some families um, having difficulties in uh, actually getting by because some, for some families, uh, the family members will have to live on the child's benefit. They can't even make ends meet 
They can't. They can't even put food on the table. And this is unacceptable. So I think that the CFA, the Court of Final Appeal, has made a right decision. They have made the right decision to say that um, the uh, residence requirement of seven years is unreasonable and out of proportion. Some families come with uh, savings, and of course, uh, there is a exercise of discretion on the part of social workers. We should not, across the board, see new arrival families as a bur as a burden because uh, this is a tunnel vision and blinkered. I'm not talking about they are our own uh, flesh and blood. A lot of new arrivals come to Hong Kong to work. They have increased our uh, labor force. Part of our GDP growth comes from new arrival because they replenish our workforce. However, um, regrettably, a lot of um, unpleasant jobs are taken up by new arrivals. We have to respect respect them and recognize their, the contribution they have made to Hong Kong. And they have to give them a sense of belonging because they are part of the Hong Kong family. And in this way, we, we only become a civilized society. Mr. Toh, thank you, Mr. Deputy. Uh, with regard to population policy, in terms of uh, in the area of education and employment, priority should be given to people from Hong Kong. We fully support that. As for cross-border projects, uh, they should also be based on population policy. And we only should reach a consensus well, after we have reached a consensus on population policy. Then uh, we proceed with the cross-border projects. As for point number six, the multiple entry um, uh, arrangement it should be cancelled, and also the uh, the um, t um, priority given to. Uh, permanent residents with regard to CSSA. These two points are um, um, things which attract our um, reservation. Family reunion. There sh uh, should be a right, and there should be no extension. And th there is sh there should be no um, distinction. Uh, uh, for mainland um, Hong um, mainland children born to Hong Kong parents. Uh, should be given right to vote in Hong Kong. That uh, was the ruling. Um, um, the uh, chief, um, the chief justice um, Lee made a um, judgment, and that was entirely right. But the mainland, but the local government adopted a scaremongering tactic and said that there would be 1.7 million coming to Hong Kong, and will take away our resources. The um, Scaremongering has uh, backfired, and people uh, have a strong um, view towards mainlanders moving into Hong Kong. As for the individual visit scheme, um, there are visitors. Hong Kong is a small place. Uh, our what is our carrying capacity? There is a limit. The IVS includes um, many um, mothers. Who don't have a um, one-way permit, they need to rely on the IVS to come to Hong Kong to care for their children in Hong Kong. Without the IVS, if um, they come from Sichuan or Yunnan, they will have to go a long way to get a uh, visa, and they will have to bring their children from Hong Kong back to a remote area in the mainland, wait there for two to three weeks in order to get a permit before. Returning to Hong Kong, and that will only uh, suspend the studies of their children in Hong Kong. These children are permanent residents of Hong Kong, and they uh, will suffer. Same for the um, resident requirement, residential requirement for CSSA. Now, um, in fact, it was. Um, um, Kerry Lam, who was the uh, director. At that time, um, th there was the um, decision that um, the um, new arrival had to be stayed, uh, had to be uh, staying in Hong Kong for more than a year. Later, it was extended to seven years before they get CSSA. In fact, CSSA should be given according to the situation of the family. If the children are permanent residents and 
the household uh, head of household is a permanent resident, but the wife is not a, a permanent resident, then she is excluded. Uh, there, uh, there may be single parent families. The uh, single mother is not a permanent uh, resident of Hong Kong, but the two children are. When they apply for CSSA, then the um, inhumane situation of just giving CSSA to the two children um, um, occurred, and uh, the parent, uh, the single mother, will rely on the CSSA of the two children. And if there is only one child, then the single mother will rely, will share the CSSA uh, payment with her child, and that's really inhumane. Uh, the seven-year requirement is unreasonable, and is it just makes life difficult for the mother who has to share the CSSA payment with her child. In fact, uh, there is no budget cap on CSSA payments. The SWD in assessing the application shouldn't be a gatekeeper to reject application. The staff of this social welfare department should be sympathetic in assessing these cases. Well, it will not be the case in which a new arrival has got CSSA payments and therefore there will be less for local residents. CSSA is given according to needs. The uh, permanent residents, the new arrivals, should be equal, and there should be no uh, discrimination. Therefore, with regard to uh, item 10 in the motion, we have reservations. Uh, let me now turn to culture. Uh, it's okay to promote the use of Putonghua. Uh, we should learn uh, three or more languages, and it will also help to uh, defer uh, the onset of dementia. But if promotion of Putonghua means killing Cantonese, uh, that's really problematic. Cantonese is the um, most um, is the uh, the, the um, vernacular language that is very close to ancient Chinese uh, language. If you read ancient Chinese poems, um, you will find that Cantonese um, uh, will be um, more uh, more appropriate. And in fact, written language is very important. And I ask the Education Bureau not to allow simplified characters to replace um, the um, normal um, Chinese characters. In fact, um, by using simplified characters, um, the um, rules for formulating um, Chinese words uh, will disappear, and people will have a bad underst uh, will have a worse um, there will be uh, less understand uh, the, the understanding of uh, Chinese uh, phrases and words uh, will be undermined. Uh, there will be a lot of confusion. Um, we're concerned about the um, status of Cantonese, and we're also we're afraid that uh, simplified characters will prevail, and that will be a destruction to Chinese culture. Ms. Wong Ko Hing. Uh, Mr. Deputy, the motion moved by Mr. Gary Fan and the amendments by Claudia Mo and Helena Wong and their speeches have shown uh, that the three are in the same boat. They propose independence of Hong Kong. They use the pretext of China-Hong Kong um, conflict and then um, they try to promote uh, Hong Kong independence. That will not be welcomed by the people. Mr. Fanko, uh, Gary Fan mentioned the rise of local awareness, local identity, local culture, oppose um, the quote-unquote mainlandization, and also um, local autonomy. This is just to give um, justification to Hong Kong independence. This is to cast a wedge between Hong Kong and the mainland and provoke conflicts between Hong Kong people and mainlanders. Now, the, uh, that is the specter of Hong Kong uh, independence hovering about us. As for the uh, content of the motion and the amendments, uh, they should attract serious uh, condemnation.
but uh, because of time constraint, I just want to highlight a few points. First, item two in the original motion. Uh, amend Article 24 of the Basic Law to abolish the right of a vote in Hong Kong enjoyed by babies born locally to parents who are both not Hong Kong permanent residents of Hong Kong. Article 24.1 of the Basic Law states very clearly that the Chinese citizens born in Hong Kong before or after the establishment of Hong Kong is a R. That's very clear. They are the permanent residents of Hong Kong. Since 2001, type 2 babies born in Hong Kong um, has increased to, have increased to more than 200,000. How can you abolish their right of vote in Hong Kong? Are you going to drive them away from Hong Kong? Is it humane? Is it not uh, against international practice under which the um, identity of, of the um, person is decided according to the place of birth? That's a practice in many overseas countries. And this provision has been considered by the CFA. The pan-democrats, on one hand, said they, said they support um, the rule of law. Why? On the other hand, they um, oppose the uh, decision of the CFA. Why you want to win um, both ways? Why you want to have the cake and eat it? Is it um, uh, not contradictory? Now the uh, motion is put Hong Kong people first, but this is just a red herring. Our present welfare policy, healthcare policy, housing policy, education policy, uh, any policy uh, put Hong Kong residents first. Members have spoken. Mention that. Say health care. Uh, considering health care, if you are not a Hong Kong PR, if you get into a hospital, uh, you have to pay full cost. Mainland uh, women have to pay full cost for delivery in Hong Kong. And you have to be a permanent resident before you can be given public housing. These are within the system. Therefore, putting Hong Kong people first is a red herring. It's just to provoke conflicts and drive a wedge between Hong Kong and mainland. As for CSSA, the requirement is that one can only apply if one uh, has lived in Hong Kong for at least seven years. Recently, there was a ruling at the CFA the Pan Democrats shouldn't oppose that. I've noticed some Pan Democrats have affirmed uh, the decision of the court. I find it strange that Claudia Mo, Gary Fan, and Helena Wong uh, do not do that, do not give such an impression. It seems that they are uh, just. Um, they they just pay lip service to um, the principles. Now as for water supply, in fact the mainland has a severe shortage of water resources. Giving priority to Shenzhen, giving priority to uh, Guangdong will not um, result in a stable and reliable supply, water supply to Hong Kong. In fact, Mr. Gary Fan is drinking Dongjiang water all the time. He now wants uh, to give priority to buying Dongjiang water. Uh, to the people of Hong Kong, if priority is given to the mainland, then we will not have enough water supply. As for the desalination, uh, 
Some members have pointed out that even if uh, that can be done, it's only five percent, or at most ten percent. How can there be a long-term, stable, and reliable water supply? Uh, in fact, Hong Kong is very blessed, uh, Mr. Deputy. Hong Kong uh, is in and in several sacred uh, part of um, the PRC. One country under one country, two systems. We uh, should respect the system. We should not cause um, division. We should not uh, cause uh, ethnic um, animosity. Thank you. Do you take the assembly now? Mr. Deputy, I uh, rise to speak in support of uh, Ms. Helena Wong's amendment. As a Hong Kong person, as um, a councillor representing the public, we have to defend the interests um, of the members of the public. Uh, C. Y. Leung and his administration uh, never defended um, the interests of Hong Kong. This is uh, causing, um, incurring the wrath of uh, everybody. While we um, defend the interests of Hong Kong people, we should not um, discriminate and exclude other people, not least um, the underprivileged or the new arrivals. I am against um, trampling upon the underprivileged in Hong Kong. Putting Hong Kong people first, that they are the people of Hong Kong, under the basic law, under the law of Hong Kong, uh, they are, um, to all intents and purposes, Hong Kong people. Like Mr. Ho said, we support uh, family reunion. It would uh, take a bit of time for them to become permanent Hong Kong residents. But as soon as they step, uh, set foot on Hong Kong, they are one of us. Why do we have to discriminate against them? We appreciate that in many societies where um, if um, there are economic uh, problems, people tend to um, turn um, their anger at um, the uh, disadvantaged or the new arrivals. In European countries, uh, we've seen a lot of politicians um, are cashing in on uh, the discrimination against um, the new arrivals. I think we have to be uh, hospitable even to the visitors. Now, of course, uh, we subscribe to the policies of um, defending Hong Kong people's interests. Why do we have um, this um, intensification of um, confrontation? I think this is um, the work of um, the government. They are tearing apart the Hong Kong social fabric. Not so long ago, the um, pregnant women found it difficult to um, get maternity beds. Um, Baby formula, um, Hong Kong people are deprived of uh, baby formula, and people of Hong Kong um, have to compete uh, for school places. I think the government simply doesn't have um, any policy, and as a result, uh, people are so um, outraged. There are people who are stirring up uh, trouble uh, by seizing this opportunity. Now, we keep saying that um, those uh, who come here in Hong Kong um, should be eligible to uh, get the CSSA after one year, but Donald Trump um, changed that, and we are abiding now by the basic, uh, the uh, Court of Final Appeal uh, judgment. We have to explain to the members of the public that uh, we should not discriminate against um, the um, underprivileged, and the disadvantaged, we should not trample upon them because this is uh, really um, disgraceful uh, in our society. We look forward to uh, policies that are fair and just uh, to make sure in terms of education, welfare, health care, uh, everybody would be able to partake in the fruit of our economic success. We should not um, Um, plow all the money uh, into the pockets of uh, the uh, mega tycoons um, so much uh, so that uh, they have more money that they know what to do with. And I think that um, 
we should not turn our anger at、um, the grassroots people,、um, those、uh, who are down and out, and this is filling us with、um, a great deal of indignation. I'm sure the majority of the people of Hong Kong are sensible people; they are rational, and they know full well that. Um, this should be the situation. A lot of us、um, are immigrants ourselves, or descendants of immigrants, and、uh, there are many people who are emigrating out of Hong Kong. And I think that we can feel、uh, for the new arrivals. So, President, we hope that the ACL government、uh, can formulate sensible policies、uh, so that.、Uh, People will not be able to step in and take advantage of the policy blunders、uh, to attack the、um, underprivileged. Now, some said that Hong Kong is、uh, moving towards independence、uh, because of this、uh, nativism. Now, if the young people are denied access to the mainland of China, I put a question to the secretary yesterday: the young people. Are really eager to、uh, set foot on the mainland, but they are denied access. What messages are you getting across to them? The message is,、um, I don't want to have anything to do with you. Seventy of us are、uh, sitting here in this chamber. At least seven or more have been denied access to the mainland of China for well over twenty years. What sort of policies are we talking about? If the mainland Authorities in the Hong Kong administration are bent on formulating policies to、um, ostracise、um, the democracy in Hong Kong, to ostracise、um, the disadvantaged.、Uh, then you will be creating、uh, more excuses、uh, for people to、uh, turn their anger. At、uh, those、uh, who are on the low rung of the community, we don't really want to see an instigation of、um, hatred against these people in Hong Kong. So, President, I do hope that、um, the SL government would、um, reflect upon this situation and reflect on、um, the situation to Beijing. Thank you.